Claire on the phone now. We've changed her uh, her voice. Hi, Claire. Hi. Hi, Claire. Uh, so uh, you found out six weeks ago that your husband of four years has been having an affair. Yes, he's and been he having an affair. He told you? Uh, no, I found out uh, he was being rather strange, um, different. He was just being very different. So I decided to do my own investigating. So I looked at his emails. I sneaked on his phone in the night, uh, went as far as looking at his phone bill, and all the evidence was there. Mm. OK, and your question is now, do you, because you've separated, so you've had some time apart, but you're considering taking him back. Is he, is he very sorry for what he's done? Has he been very honest about what he's done? He has been honest about what he's done, and um, my, my dilemma really is that if I hadn't gone looking for answers, then we would possibly still be together now. So I do have a little bit of regret that I have found out. Well, uh, what you said to, to us is he, he told you it's your fault because you looked at his phone. Yes, he did. Right, That's then. not he true, told... by I mean, the way. Yeah. I hope you're not believing that. I mean, it does sound, Claire, like you are believing that a little bit and that somehow you feel your responsibility lies in feeling suspicious and then, indeed, confronting him and finding out the truth. But the truth is that this is real and he has betrayed you and what you need to be thinking about is what you want from now on. Now, I'm the first person to say that at times people can have affairs and they can make it work, usually with therapy and only if they can completely forgive the actions of that partner. But what is your partner doing blaming you for his actions, because that's the real issue here. It isn't a concern that you decided that you were suspicious and you checked on him and found him out. The fact is, he's then taking that information and making you feel bad about that. How low is your confidence, do you feel, Claire? Because it sounds to me like it's on the floor right now. Yes, I, I do feel that I'm in a bad place. Um, I, 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 I just wish I never found out. I wish that I hadn't gone to him because I, I feel that the only person who's hurting is me. Um, and I feel that I've done that to myself. Yeah, but think how much worse it could get. This could have gone on for years and years and years, and then you find out. It could, it could be, you just don't, I, I, honestly, you must not feel like that at all. Like, I think it's a good thing you know, because at least then if you do want to try and make this work together, it'll be a relationship based on honesty as opposed to yeah. a relationship based on a lie. And also, there's a real sense here, to be honest, on a separate level of control, Claire. He's controlling your finding out with a reaction of blaming you. That's actually pretty dangerous and sinister behaviour, because the truth is what he should have said is, game's up, I've done something really awful, I'm terribly sorry, what can we do about this? Not say, well, it's your fault for snooping. And the fact that you're actually believing him says that you need to do a lot of work on your self-assertion yeah. and your belief system because you don't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. Being loved should raise us up. It's as simple as that. Being in a great relationship that's healthy makes us feel great about our lives. It doesn't make us feel guilty for pursuing the knowledge that we need to find out about a betrayal. All right. Thank you Thank for your you. call.